Pasta Primavera is so easy to make. A few ingredients. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. It's delicious. You can make it too. This is what it will look like. Check that out. Let's get into it. Pasta Primavera. I will tell you a story about this dish with some facts about the ingredients, the history, and origin. You have asked and want to know, what is Pasta Primavera? What is it in English? Where is it from? Why is it called Pasta Primavera? Can it be served cold? Who invented Pasta Primavera? Is Pasta Primavera vegetarian? Let me tell you about it. Dine with Devin. I'm that cooking guy taking you on a culinary journey to make your favorite foods. Follow along on screen to see how I make this. Then you will know the ingredients and amounts. Rewatch if needed to review some of the ingredients or procedures. Pasta Primavera is an American pasta dish invented in the 1970s. This claim was made by several different people in America over that period of time. The most popular story comes from 1975. A New York restaurateur, Sirio Massoni, flew to the Canadian summer home of Italian baron Carlo Amato's Shangri-La Ranch on Roberts Island, Nova Scotia. Massioni and his two top chefs began experimenting with game and fish, but eventually the baron and his guests wanted something different. Massioni then mixed butter, cream, and cheese with vegetables and pasta and brought the recipe back to his restaurant in New York City, Le Cirque. Whether you follow this contested story or one of the others, I'm sure that in Italy they made pasta with vegetables and cream sauce for a century before this. We will allow the Americans to keep the title of inventors of this delicious and healthy pasta dish. The term pasta primavera refers to a pasta made spring style, filled with spring vegetables. Asparagus, peas, carrots, and broccoli are four popular spring vegetables used to make pasta primavera, but you can easily swap them with the season using the vegetables you love. To answer more of your questions, yes, pasta primavera is naturally vegetarian and can easily be made vegan by leaving out the cream and cheese and making sure your pasta is not made with egg. Otherwise, vegetarians can celebrate this dish that is naturally vegetarian. If you like what you see, please subscribe. It won't cost you a thing and really does help me make more craveable content. Can pasta primavera be served cold? Well, yes, but I don't recommend it. This is only because it's best when fresh and hot. If you have some leftover and want it cold the next day, you can eat it right out of the fridge. But if it was me, I would grab a baguette and stuff it with the cold pasta, some olives, and a splash of Italian vinaigrette. Do you see some of the tools in this video that you would like to own? I love the shun knife I used. You can find links to it and other tools in the description below. Yes, even the equipment I used to make this video, like the camera or lighting. These links, you don't pay anything extra, but I do get credit for your purchase and really appreciate it. Can pasta primavera be made with meat? Well, I don't think it would be considered pasta primavera after that. But yes, you could add any protein to this dish. I think I would choose mahi mahi or true cod. Just cook it separately and top the pasta with the meat of your choice. Look at this other video up here with mahi mahi in it. Should I post this video also? Comment below how you would like to make this. I would love to read your thoughts about the dish. You can also let me know in the comments what you want to see me make in the near future. What you want to see is what I want to make. So far you saw me cook the pasta al dente, chop the vegetables and saute them with some wine, pasta, water, and spices. Add the cooked pasta, some cream, and parmesan. Let it cook on low until the sauce thickens. I'm back. You saw me try it a minute ago, but I realized I forgot one important ingredient if you like it with a little bit of kick. Let me show you what that is. Right here. Fix sriracha sauce. You want some? You'll find it in the link below. That's going to add a beautiful light heat to it and a lot of flavor. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm going to mix it in, get a little bit curled up on my fork there. Fabulous. Make this. If you liked it, what you see, 
click on this video up here now.